Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Deadly Manor, which is being released on Blu-ray courtesy of Arrow Video on February 25th, 2020. Uh, it's the 1990 title directed by Jose Ramon Larraz. Uh, it was the last of Larraz's uh, films that he made as U.S. co-productions, a series of slasher films, uh, and he made one more Spanish language film after this, and then that was it. Uh, Arrow Video has been recuper steadily recuperating uh, the filmography of Larraz uh, recently. Uh, they had a, a box set of three of his early works, including Whirlpool, Vampires, and The Coming of Sin. Uh, especially The Coming of Sin is quite good. And then um, Symptoms, which I think is his uh, masterpiece, been played at the Cannes Film Festival starring Angela Pleasance, uh, is also recently been made available again after several years. Um, so Arrow, they put out Edge of the Axe, uh, I believe last month, his 1988 film, and now Deadly Manor, which is a very derivative, not very invigorating film, um, about a group of teenagers looking for a lake, they don't really know where it is, pick up a hitchhiker and get a flat tire and end up at uh, this hidden palatial estate a la the Old Dark House, or Rocky Horror Picture Show, or Thundercrack, and then proceed to stand, spend the night there, and then learn that there's something horrible there. Which, right away there's a red flag because there's a car wreck put in a shrine in the front yard with pictures of a half-naked woman uh, in, the, in the car. Of course, as we come to find, that woman is still living in the house, and her name is Amanda, and she was the victim of a very bizarre uh, car fire accident from a group of young bikers and now she kills whoever happens to come into the house like a great big spider. Um, and that's about it. The last 20 minutes of the film are uh, kind of entertaining, uh, especially uh, Jennifer Delora's rendition of Amanda, who's she's mostly shellacked behind some not very good makeup. Uh, she's the only thing that you can really recommend about this film that could have been, uh, you know, a nice segment on Tales from the Crypt or Creep Show. Um, this is not the film to start out with uh, if you're looking to jump into the filmography of La Raz. Um, but, like all things, it's an introduction and maybe it'll lead you to some of his past works. I would give this title 1 out of 5 stars, but Arrow's very loving release which will draw you in and trap you like the spider that is Amanda. Uh, 4 out of 5 stars for the restoration. And that's it. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from IonCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.